$100 later. Welcome back to the channel, guppies. I am at the tunnel again. If you guys remember the video I posted not too long ago, probably like four or five videos maybe ago, posted a video of me fishing this tunnel. I got crappie, a couple random really large bluegills, a couple bass, and a pickerel. Nothing crazy, but then one of you beautiful people DM'd me and said, hey, I fish here all the time. There's, if you use night crawlers, you can catch this, this, and this. And he named a species that I've never caught before, which it's crazy to think about because I think I've caught literally every species in New England except for like a muskie and a walleye. I think that's it because there's no walleye places near me for like thousands of freaking miles it feels like. Not actually, probably like the closest walleye place is six plus hours away. I There's no walleye near me, uh, but they are in New England. But there's one species in particular that I've not caught before and they live in this tunnel and I'm really freaking excited. Just went to Walmart, just got some gas, $98 later. Here we are, we're gonna go catch them. Wanna let you guys know, before I jump into this, today's video is sponsored by Shop Carlos. They're doing like members week and all these crazy cool things. If you guys wanna become a Shop Carlos member, it's an online retail company. You can get so much stuff, it's insane. It's uh, definitely where I get most of my tackle from. It's, it's unreal. I would definitely check it out if you guys um, are interested in saving some money, 30% off, free shipping, code BECCA10 at checkout, and you can save up to $10 on your order of $25 or more. So just crazy good deals, save yourself some money. No, they don't have night crawlers. I apologize, but that's what we're using today. I'm gonna be using some other lures too, like I'm gonna go after bass and the species that lives under there. But it's going to be a crazy cool episode, I'm so excited. Let's head to the tunnel, let's go crank some fish. Thank you so much to Shop Carl's, aka Carl's Main Tackle for sponsoring today's video. I love the hell out of you guys, and let's go crank them, I'm excited. Okay, if there's one thing I know for sure is getting down here is super sketchy. It doesn't look it on the GoPro, but this, it's so steep. It's so steep over here. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's it's just like super sketchy to fish right here, but this is our beautiful tunnel. Um, yeah, if you guys didn't see the last video, we definitely caught some fish over there. We definitely caught some fish over there, and we definitely caught some fish over there. So a lot of potential. I don't think I've ever just straight up fished with night crawlers on my channel before. I do have other baits though. I got some spinner baits and chatter baits and click baits and all that beautiful stuff. But let's do it. We are at the place to catch some fish. Guggen Squad Zinger trailer hook with a Guggen bait saucy swimmer as a trailer. Oh, oh my God. We just got smacked. Oh my God, we just got smacked. That was my second cast, dude. I saw him wake, that was a big fish. Fantastic sign though, so I'm not even mad about that. We got a, a bite on our second freaking cast on the spinner bait. I'm gonna throw the worm out in a minute. One more cast. It's funny because I've thrown so many lures in this tunnel and they don't care. Just don't care. That went far in there. No. Well, I found a snag. Damn it, dude. Yeah, that's a break off. Last time I came here, it was just snag after snag under there. So, should have saw that one coming. Okay, Nightcrawler, going in. Feeling, feeling good about that cast, not bad. Okay, so now what I do is I'm gonna leave this right here, tighten the line a little bit so I can watch so I can watch my rod tip. It's time to go cast the clickbait. It's so windy, it's gonna be impossible to see when a bite comes out. This, <laughs> this, this is gonna suck. No way. I have a fish on, but I'm snagged. <laughs> I 
I can feel them tweaking out and doing head shakes. There we go. Oh my god, he's on! Oh my god! 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 Yo! <laughs> Let's go, baby! This isn't the the target species necessarily, but this is a species I wanted to show you guys so freaking bad. Yeah, this is a, a freshwater eel. I think they're called like freshwater American eel. Is the correct name? Not really sure. Look at him. Look at him. I knew eels were in here, so I, I bought this little net because they always escape. Let's go, baby. Did you swallow it? I really hope not. These things are so gross. <laughs> no, look at him. It's in his mouth. I got you. Keep doing death throws. I can't unhook you. God, you suck. What the? See, this is why I have a net. <laughs> there we go. Was that so hard, buddy? Yeah. Look at his eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> the way he just swam off was so creepy. You. Well, we can check that species off the list. Now I want two more species to check off the list. And one of them is including a species I've never caught before, like I said to you guys. So I don't know how we got him unsnagged. Something's hitting it, something's hitting it. Oh god. No! No! Oh god. Oh my god. No. No, my worms. My worms. That was a disaster. <laughs> Jeez. Got our worms. Now we're good. Did we get the fish? No. No, we did not get the fish. Oh my god. Now we have a great angle to cast under there, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, no. I was sitting on my worms that I didn't see and didn't get to grab. <laughs> what the hell? No way. No way. He ran right at me. No, he came off. That was a good largie. That was a good large mouth. <laughs> Baby. Oh, now I'm in a tree. But it was most definitely a good fish. And I went like, I was going like this. Sometimes I like stop re straight retrieving it. And I'll just like go like this, let it drop, pull. That usually gets them fired up if they uh, stop hitting your clickbait or your spinnerbait. Little, little tip that I do if you guys want to try it out. It definitely works, I'll give you that. There we go, I'm on. I'm on, that feels big. That feels big. What is it? Oh, it's a nice bass. That's a nice bass. That's a nice, no! What? 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 Oh, that is two bass over there that have just, just spit the hook. One jumped and spit the hook, one jumped right there and just right on my feet, man. Okay, but that one I slowed down my retrieve like crazy and I just started going super slow. Oh my God. No, I ripped it right out of his mouth. What is going on? What is going on? Oh my God. What? What? Oh my God, right at my feet. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? You are a lot smaller than your friend. That's how dirty this water clarity is, is he had no idea I was right here. It's got like a weird little backlash reeled in and he freaking hammered it. Mwah, I appreciate you, bud. Well, I can't believe I'm, I'm saying this, but uh, we, we caught an eel and a bass today. <laughs> he dropped it. No, he hasn't, he has it. 
No, oh my god, what? Oh my god, there we go. Oh, it's another one. Ah, it's bigger. It's a bigger eel. Are we gonna get away from these guys? Probably not, <laughs> honestly. He's gonna do death rolls, watch this. It's so funny, dude. Oh, thank you for making that easy, man. <laughs> okay, two eels, a bass, two missed bass. Well, two hookups and missed bass and like 30 missed bites. You know, we still have time, plenty of time. So I'm hopeful. There you go. There you go. Feels good. Oh yeah, nice bass. Nice bass. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Yes, dude. What? What? What is going on? I did not come out here and expect to crank bass. I've never even put my kayak in this place. The only place the only spot I've ever fished here is literally on this bank, and that's it. I'm thinking I gotta put my kayak in here, man. I think I gotta put my kayak in here. Drop in the comments down below if you wanna see me kayak this place. That's a decent largey. Catch you later, squat. I'm cold. It is windy. But we're catching largemouth. How the hell does that happen? Is that. I don't know if that's like the fishing gods saying, hey Becca, what are you doing? You bass fish. And uh, you should probably, you should probably stick with it. I think that's what's going on right now, but I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> I'm not gonna listen. I'm making it happen. My worm is still sitting behind the bridge. I'm watching my rod from here as I talk to you guys. We're just hunting for that one fish, man. I'm gonna keep chugging wine in this clickbait. It's unreal. I've never even fished anywhere besides like, I don't know, what is this? Like mm, eight feet? a bank and I just crank fish here all the time. I guarantee you there's giants in this pond. I mean, it's huge. It goes on forever. It looks like a river from over here. All right, let's keep throwing the clickbait, keep warming it, uh, warming it up, w warming, like a warming it up under the tunnel. I'm so cold. Oh, clickbait, I love you. <laughs> Clickbait, you catch me fish all the time, and I appreciate it. Oh my God! Smoked it! Holy crap! I almost just, almost just, almost just fell. This is a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's our biggest of the day. Oh my god, the bass in here are just incredible. What? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh my god, what are the odds? Today is such a weird day. For how disgusting this water clarity is, this is a healthy fish. All the fish in here is super healthy. Hey, go eat some eels. Go eat some eels. I believe in you. Our bait's probably been sitting for like 30 something minutes. Let's check on it if we're snagged. Hope we have a, a fish. Oh, look at that. Nothing. All our worm is gone. Oh my God, there we go. Does not feel like an eel. Could be though. Could be. It's an eel. Oh! I hate y'all, bro. Just doing straight up death rolls on my freaking line right now. Let's see if we can safely release him without him sliming up my line. Look at that. Look at that. No. Look at what? What are you doing to yourself? He's literally going to hurt himself. I'm not even kidding. He's trying to break himself off. You are just such an interesting fish. There. Nope, he fell. There you go. Bass, literally snake. You ruined my line. Oh, he took my hook. No. 
I'm sorry. What? What did that happen? What? Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't want to catch you right now, but I didn't mean to leave a hook in you. There we go. Oh my god, again. This feels kind of small, though. Oh no, it's not a bad one. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no, it is small. Okay. <laughs> For a quick second, I thought he was like at least a pound and a half. I was like, oh, that's decent. All right, I'll take that. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Get you a girl that talks to you like Becca talks to her fish. Honestly. This is so crazy. I don't think I've ever caught so many fish just standing in one spot in such a pressured body of water. Feel fish your every waking, breathing moment. I'm shocked no one's here right now. Probably because it's a work day, but you know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I don't know why I just sounded so country right then and there for a second. Quickly, I wanna say thank you to Shop Kyle's for sponsoring today's video. With that being said, today was a success. Kind of, yeah, kind of. I don't know, I would say today was definitely a success. The only issue was we didn't catch the fish that we wanted to and we only caught eels under that bridge and that time that I fished it recently and then my, my GoPro lost the SD card. Um, what did I catch? A yellow bullhead? Which I didn't even know we had yellow bullhead. I thought we only had black and brown bullheads. But you learn something new every day. So that was cool. Didn't get on any of those today. And then I just left because um, a couple of people showed up to fish and I've been there. God, I think I've been fishing for about six hours now, six, seven. So makes sense. Uh, we didn't get on a crazy amount of fish, but holy crap, that was sick. I had so much fun. I had no idea that a clickbait was gonna come and clutch like that like I, I does i don't know i was just i didn't even think to bring that rod at first i was like i don't need a bait cast i'm just gonna fish worms well i'm glad that i you know didn't do that because <laughs> we want to have a video you guys would be just watching basically nothing and me just not hooking any of the fish that we're eating but i, I think at the end of the day all those bites under the bridge that we're missing were just eels which really sucks because they're hard to hook. So if you can hook an eel, you're a legend. I'm not calling myself a legend, but I definitely used to catch them a lot as a kid, so I know how to deal with them. They're just so gross sometimes, man. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. A little bit something, you know, different. Got on some good fish, had some fun. Quality fish. I'm putting my damn kayak inside this. Um, is this a lake or a pond? I don't know. It's big, so lake. We're doing it because there's definitely some big fish in there but that's all i got for you guys i love you guys so much thank you for hearing me rambling and catching some fish and having a blast thank you to shop carl's i love you all thank you for all the support i'll catch you beautiful people next time